Yo, what is going on guys, it's Cryptic TMG back with a brand new video. Today we're going to be running a test on Lamont Ultimate. We're going to be checking what is the difference between the soft, medium and hard tyres. What is the delta and I am aware that on this game it does depend on the temperature of the, the track to how the tyres perform. I know obviously the hotter it is then the more capable the medium and the hard tyres will become. But this test is run at about 33 Celsius so bear that in mind i do want to test in the future you know what temperatures are the correct temperatures to switch up that'll be another video for another day also guys remember i'm now streaming on twitch instead of youtube so i'm going to be reserving youtube for my video content only my streams will be on twitch tv from now on so go ahead and jump over make sure you follow me on twitch because mondays and wednesdays that's where i'm going to be streaming but anyway guys let's get stuck into this test so we are on the soft tires for the first test now this track i've been doing all week for the the daily races um it's a track i know pretty well pretty familiar with the track and i've been grinding it so it wasn't too difficult to get up to speed but i really do want to see the difference in the delta between the tires and is it will at any point will it be worth it to run mediums or hards around the track in a sort of short form race i doubt it but nevertheless I'm going to let you guys watch the rest of the lap. So we managed a 57.6. I definitely think I would have got a 57.4 if I didn't make a mistake in the penultimate corner. Um, just got in a little bit too deep. Didn't carry the speed for the corner. So I think you'll probably see I'll probably end up being a little bit quicker through that section, even on the mediums maybe. But um, let's get stuck into the next test. Next time we're going to be on the mediums and let's see what lap time we can achieve with the medium tyre.
definitely made a few mistakes on that lap but i will say i reckon the difference is around 1.1 seconds as i made a couple of small mistakes but it still is quite a big gap now onto the hard tires where honestly guys at the beginning it was a struggle man like even for the mediums the braking distance did increase but the the lack of grip on the hards man at first i was literally just binning it as you guys can see man um, i was struggling so it took me a few laps to actually get up to speed on the hard tires as well but we managed to get a lap in and the difference was probably not as big as i thought it would be between the mediums and the hards but i'll let you guys watch the rest of the video and then afterwards i'll give you my final thoughts and where i feel like you know the crossover point may start to begin in these sort of tests So we come across the line on a 59.4. So the difference between the mediums and the hards is around about six or seven tenths, which is a bit smaller than the gap from mediums to, to soft. So it's going to be interesting in the future. I do feel like in endurance races, unless the weather conditions are extremely hot, there's probably no point, you know, going anywhere near the hards. Because to me, doing a 59.4, in comparison to what probably could have been a 57 4 two second gap is massive unless the track conditions are insanely bad um i would think you probably want to veer away from the hards i don't feel like they will be beneficial as of yet but it will be interesting what starts happening once we do start doing endurance races longer form races how big are the fuel tanks going to be so you know if it's let's say you can do an hour and 10 minutes on a on a on a fuel tank and the conditions are extremely hot then will the hard tires come into play me personally i hope it actually does because then it gives some credence to actually having all these different um options in terms of tires and stuff like that and it definitely opens up the strategy and that's what i'm mostly excited for this game because there is that element of strategy where you can do something different from somewhere somebody else on acc i feel like you're pretty much just everyone's sort of just locked into the same strategy whereas if you if you're someone that can look after tires and you maybe have to go a step softer or if you want to put a hard on the front left and a medium on the 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 rear the rear left you can do things like that you know and and definitely opens up a big big strategy pool which we just don't have on for me any other game that i'm playing at the moment um what i will say though is the softs are just by far <laughs> the fastest okay they're, they're rapid in comparison to the other sets of tires and you will find when you're using the mediums the hards that you're obviously your braking distance increases quite a lot the grip the traction out of corners definitely is somewhat diminished um also you know the car's not as you know it's not as agile going through some of the fast corners you just can't get on the power or, or steer the car in the way that you could on the softs which is of course obvious 
I do want to see though, I will be running a test in extremely, extremely hot conditions. And then I'm going to test which tires are able to produce the best lap time. I'm going to try and go as hot as I pretty much can go. Um, I'm not sure how hot you can actually go on the game, but um, I'm going to run it as hot as physically possible. And then I'm going to see the difference between the tires and, you know, do the hard tires and the medium tires start to stack up as soon as the conditions get crazy. But tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. It's Crypto TNG, like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to catch my videos first. And peace.